Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to both unlock Mamba Mentality and Accelerator in NBA 2K24. This is going to be the fastest and easiest way to unlock these things. And they are pretty overpowered in my opinion. I mean, Mama Mentality replaces your double takeover with all five takeovers, which I think is really, really crazy. And of course, Accelerator helps you get your takeovers faster. So in combination, these might be a little overpowered. But there is quite a few steps to unlock both of these. So make sure you guys are sticking with me throughout this entire video. Don't skip around. You're going to get lost. You're going to get mixed up. Make sure to watch this video all the way through. And if this video helps you unlock Mama Mentality, helps you unlock all the takeover perks and Accelerator, because when you unlock take Accelerator, you have to unlock all the takeover perks. So if this video helps you out, please be sure to drop a like and hit that subscribe button. We are on this road to 100K. It'd be greatly, greatly appreciated if you guys could smash that subscribe button. But with all that being said, let's go and hop straight into it. All right, so we start off and we go ahead and look at our progression over here. You can see I don't quite have the accelerator perk yet, but I am very close to completing all of these quests left to get these. And obviously, in order to get accelerator, you have to unlock all the other takeover perks. And so there's a line of quests you're going to have to follow, and I'm going to walk you guys through how to follow them. But obviously, I do have Mama Mentality, and Mama Mentality is pretty easy to get, I would say. But like I said, I'm super close to unlocking these. I can show you guys my quest progress. So if we head over to quest right here, let's go ahead and look at some of my quests that I still have. You can see I have extender. I have suppressor and saboteur right here. And you can see I need to go get blocks in a affiliation like online because I cannot get steals on the street ball court. And I'm going to tell you guys how to do the street ball court in a second. I have the 50 well defended shots, but I need to do that in affiliation because if ass breaks are really hard for me, at least for my build. And I need to get assists, but I'm not going to do that in the street ball. I'm going to do that affiliation. So I'm just waiting to play online to do that. But those are three right here. If I go down to my completed quest right here, let's see if I can go ahead and find um, Mama Mentality right here. Let's go to Mama Mentality. And you can see we have to complete three quests. Decelerator, Minimizer, and Second Chance. So you guys can see these are the three ones right here. So Minimizer, you got to head to the Art of the Shooting Facility and earn three stars. Now, this is a super easy drill. You literally just head over to the art of shooting facility i'll show you where it is it's literally going to be actually just right here this is going to be the art of shooting facility right here you're going to want to head over here and just do a drill you're going to have to pick like two hot spots to do it's very very easy and you just need to get three stars which means you just need to make some shots so that is how you get that perk and moving on to the next one in order to get decelerator you have to head over to chris brickley's gym and you have to complete a 3v3 scrimmage and a 5v5 scrimmage. Now, I believe you can only play the 5v5 scrimmages on the weekend, and you can only play the 3v3 scrimmages during the week. So that might make it so you're not able to do it very quickly, but I lucked out on this. I played the 3v3 scrimmage on Thursday and then played the 5v5 on Friday because that's how it works. It's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday through Thursday. That's just what I heard. I thought it was just gonna be, it just gives you the right one one day and then gives you the right one the next day. But apparently it's only available on certain days. And Chris Brickley's gym, if I'll show you guys, Chris Brickley's gym is going to be right here. So you guys can just go in and quick travel right here. Just go up a little bit, go to Chris Brickley's gym. And when you get there, make sure you have this quest activated. So the quest we were just on, make sure you have it activated. Just walk up to Chris Brickley and press A. He's gonna put you into a scrimmage and just do it like that. And for second chance, you can do this right along with Decelerator. Again, it's gonna be head to Chris Brickley's gym and you need 50 points, rebounds, assists, blocks, steals, all combined. So that's really easy to get while you're doing this quest. It's just gonna be all together. And then you have these three done. Like these are really easy to complete as long as you do the Chris Brickley thing at the right times. But these three things are super easy to get. And it should not take you long to get this moment mentality. These are three of the easiest ones. Now going back over here, so we have second chance, we have minimizer, we have decelerator. I'm pretty sure those are the three ones that we just got. Now for these two right here, stay warm and sponge, they're going to involve some street ball quests and they are going these these other like four are also going to involve street ball quests. Now in order to do the street ball quest, you're going to want to go over to this right here and then we're going to go to sunset which is up here and the point I believe which is right here. All right, so the first things first, you're going to want to come over to both sunset 
and to the point over here and you're gonna want to do a thing you, you're gonna want to talk to a few people i should say now obviously i've already completed the quest so they're not going to be here for me but there's going to be people like standing right here there might be a person standing here you can see sga is still right here he's going to be right here for you too you can see that was actually a different quest and then you're going to have josh giddy over here that you can talk to as well and basically you just want to come over here and you're going to want to talk to all of them once you talk to all of them we're going to head over to the sunset park and we're going to talk to all of the people over there. And basically, it's going to give us quests. And as we complete these quests playing this street ball, which all I'm going to show you guys how to do, you're just going to have to follow what it says. You know, like some of them were like 40 blocks, 40 steals. Some of them were like have 10 games where you shoot this percentage. But going over here to Sun Sunrise or what is it? Sun Sunset Park. It's right back here. You guys, all, all you have to do is just go up here and go through this little alleyway right here and you will get to sunset park now there's probably going to be some guys standing right here there's probably going to be one standing like right around here and there's going to be one standing right around here and there's going to be ones around the back over here there's going to be one you have to do like right over here so when you do all of those then you can actually start playing the street ball and you can start completing some of these quests that you have to complete because obviously you don't want to be playing this if you're not completing the quest so if you come over to here, you can see I already beat all of these street ball quests in this affiliate or in this little like sunset park. And there's more in the other parks, but you're basically just want to go ahead and beat all of these people. And it doesn't really matter actually if you beat all of them, but if you want to complete all the street ball quests, you're going to want to beat all of them. But basically you're just going to be uh, uh, checking off those quests. So you can see if I go back to my quest, I'll show you again the three that I haven't completed these three right here. And you can see you, you have to do like, you can do things in the affiliation or on the street ball courts. Um, if you're not trying to play online, you can do the street ball stuff. But then if I go over to my completed perks as well, like like I said, um, if we go to like sponge, you could see recruit three street ball bosses. So that's just beating three of the street ball bosses. And then, you know, going down here, I believe there's another one all the way down here and stay warm. You can see 10 out of 10, six field goal attempts, 80% or better. That's really easy to do. And then obviously we have my three other ones and I, I don't know where the Donovan Mitchell one is. I'm not sure where that is, but those are all the quests you have to do in order to unlock accelerator perk. And basically you just go around there. I'm going to show you there's one more street ball court and you're going to want to go to all these street ball courts, unlock all the quests be first, like unlock all the quests first before you actually go ahead and start playing because you don't want to be like losing you know you don't want to be playing the games and like not completing a quest because they're all they're all like cumulative you can do them all at the same time but there's going to be street ball bosses you can play at both sunset and the point right there and then you're going to want to go over to city east over here and if you want to complete the street ball challenges you're going to have to play the games anyway if you want to complete all the quests in street ball so i might I, I would suggest i mean that's how i got like this jacket right here i think it's pretty cool but you're going to want to come over here to the yard i believe I, I believe it's called or maybe maybe it's uh maybe it's the point and the other one's the yard i'm not really sure now this one's called the yard so you want to come through this little alleyway right here and this is like the final boss like of the street ball and you're gonna have three challenges on the scoreboard right here once you obviously complete enough quests and you're gonna have to like use different teammates so you need 10 street ball bosses on this in order to complete it so you need so obviously if i do this like if i use two of these guys right here they're not going to be available for the next challenge on challenge two but you get them back if you're like completing the other the other bosses because there's three bosses here so there's i mean if i go back to this there's one two three and they get harder each time they get more challenges but there's going to be some people to talk to around here that you're going to want to do i believe one of the first ones is talking to someone back here I'm, i don't remember exactly who it was but you're gonna want to talk to somebody back here there's gonna be a little quest icon but just make sure you guys are actually like looking around to all these street ball courts before you start playing street ball because there's going to be stuff that you're gonna miss and then you're gonna have to play more street ball or more park and it's just like you know what i mean like you want to get this quest done as fast as possible and i'm showing you guys how to get these quests done as fast as possible now if you do all that and you do it right you'll unlock accelerator they made accelerator really tedious to get this year because you have to get all the other takeover perks but my mentality is really really easy so if you just came for that you know that that's that's easy but you know accelerator very very difficult they made it not really say difficult they just made it so you had to like jump through like a thousand hoops in order to get it and you have to complete all these challenges which is really annoying but I, I get it. It's, you don't want a lot of people to get accelerated. It's really OP. If you guys found this video helpful, please be sure to drop a like and subscribe. But with all that being said, I'm out, man. Peace.